So, uh, I don't know, I guess, uh, coming here was kind of like a big, was a big thing. It was kind of intimidating at first because like the campus was huge and buildings are like way bigger than a high school building. But, uh, yeah, I think doing this and then coming here and seeing like people my age, it kind of like helped me relax and helped me like get comfortable here. I mean, uh, and then doing something that's really fun is also was also kind of relaxing and fun to do. Uh, wandering around the campus, taking a lot of pictures was fun. For me, I've always been watching sports ever since I was a little kid and being able to ask like an actual college coach questions about his team and their motivation and why they want to play. It really showed me that like it's it could be a good and cool career path to go down maybe later in life. So I think before coming here, like, I knew some, like, I've been looking into journalism since I was a freshman in high school, but I hadn't had much, like, hands-on experience, and so I didn't know exactly what to expect because I like a lot of aspects from journalism. Like, I like that you can, like, take pictures, the video part of it, like, on and behind the camera, and I like the writing part of it, but I'd never gotten to actually do any of it. I just know that I like to do it, so I felt like it was really cool coming here and, like, like, like that I was challenged in all these things that I love to do, but that I also consider myself pretty pretty good at. But now being here is totally different because I'm like being challenged in those areas that, well, in school I'm not really being challenged in those, and that's, and I know it's what I want to do when I grow up. So I thought it was really cool, and I want to do more stuff like this. Um, I honestly had no idea what I was going into. I kind of thought maybe, oh, I'll be a journalist because my dad watches the news a lot. So I was like, oh, that's a cool job. But going into this, I feel a lot more like I know what goes on in journalism and I think that maybe I could pursue it in the future. And so I'm very grateful to have the opportunity. I think um, getting to do all these new group projects for me is um, a really cool experience because I do a lot of writing and stuff at my um, home, obviously, but I've um, never been in a school newspaper, and um, to hear all these other people's experiences from their own is really, it lets me see sort of what it's like to be in a newspaper, and I'm hopefully going to be interning at a local newspaper soon, so I hope it all works out. <laughs> Uh, my favorite thing that I got to do here that I don't usually get to do in Spark was probably film and record and edit because I'm so out of my area with that kind of stuff but it was interesting to learn and I hope to apply that somehow next year. If I had to say there was something unique about this camera, you had to say it would be working with the Photoshop and the video editing software and like I've tried doing that before but I've never like I'll sit there and try to figure out what happened and on it's like this camp just teaches you how this this whole editing and how these bunch of films and stuff turn into news that you see on TV so I mean learning from mr. Hume um, a lot of the things he taught today were things he covered in his class already. Uh, a few things I did find interesting though were like things I learned from fellow staff members last year. Uh, I applied them in the exercises he had us go through in class and we were fairly successful with that. So I was kind of impressed how just the experience and uh, teaching that my fellow peers gave me helped apply in a classroom setting and obviously vice versa. When we're in class at school, everybody's used to him, so everybody kind of knows what to expect. But um, when we're here, watching other people's reactions of like his typical um, like teaching style that most people don't really get to see a lot is really interesting because he's very um, kind of out there um, with um, where he goes and walks around and and he um, gets up on tables and shouts and all those kinds of things, so it's interesting to see um, how other people react. Having Mr. Hume in school and having him here is exactly the same 
the end, <laughs> he shows the same personality. He's still as crazy as he is there, as he is here. But that is, I think that's what makes it awesome because that means he is teaching and spreading and sharing his wisdom equally, dispersing like equally to everywhere he can go to. And that, and I think that's the best thing. So I think it was cool how we could just like, um, like the premiere on on the Mac. That was cool. But like, um, it was also cool how how we got our own iPads and cameras and tripods, and we could just walk around, you know, during the interviews, and then we could just take pictures. So I thought that was pretty fun and interesting. My favorite part was the press conference with Coach and the basketball player because I thought that was really interesting and I'm into like basketball and sports. And yeah, we're pretty close so it was pretty easy like being with her. My favorite part was the film and photography part of it because that's what like more I'm interested in. And yeah, it was easier working with her because I know her so well. Well, I definitely learned that there's more to journalism than just a newspaper or articles, that pictures and digital stuff are a big part of it as well. And I was on my school newspaper, but I only wrote articles and I didn't do anything related to digital. So that was probably the thing I learned most about during this week. The thing I learned most about is how to use Premiere and edit videos, and I learned a lot about that in editing videos together and using B-roll. Um, I'm really grateful that I had this experience to because I really want to pursue journalism in college, and that's what I want to do when I grow up. And this experience coming here, it kind of challenged me to do things that I never thought I would be able to do. Like interviewing helped me kind of push out of my comfort zone and talk to different people. Um, I also liked how we got to visit different places and videotape and I got to learn all the digital part of journalism. I will definitely take these past couple years doing this camp as an experience for later in life and I definitely would love to come back and be a mentor for this camp even though I might not get to NKU. Um, but it has taught me a lot of useful skills and you do have to learn that your opinion matters and that you have to get your opinion out there or else no one will hear it and it teaches you to be very independent and so even though you have times where you have to do group work then you can collaborate and such, but besides that, you need to be pretty independent and know what you want and how to get it and where everything goes from there. Actually, the most challenging part about video editing was probably actually setting up the tripods, which I would have never expected. So <laughs> that was actually kind of hilarious to me.